Good morning. How you doing, Nick? Very good. We're having breakfast at the uh, Quinta Hotel. Very good. Mm. Uh, one of my favorite things are uh, waking up in a new city and having a continental breakfast at a new hotel. I slept well, even though I look tired or I feel tired. But today is a new day and a new adventure, and I wonder where today will take us. We're thinking of the beach, Nick? Yeah, we're going to the beach. Then that's where we're going. The, uh, what's outer Banks? Yeah. We'll try to get to Outer Banks today. The Outer Banks is a beautiful place. In 3.9 miles, turn right to US 64 East, US 13 North Fort Williamston. <laughs> okay. You done? She's All right. Done. I, think she's done. I think she's done. She's we're traveling she with this girl. She keeps interrupting. Yeah, she's a, a great, but she's a great companion. Isn't she, George? She's great. She's great. Yeah, yeah. What's her name again? Uh, Sarah, right? Sarah. Sarah. I don't know. I, I, we, I, we just picked up on the highway. I had a pun. I didn't. Ha I, don't yeah, have I don't have GPS puns. I don't have. Yeah, she's but a, you know what? I want to make a GPS pun. Okay. I don't have a GPS pun, but now it's brought us to a GPS pun moment. So let's figure this one out. A GPS pun. Um, okay. Um, I dated a girl that did the voiceover for a GPS, but uh, we were lacking direction. Was that good? Was that good? Um, our, 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 we, our, our, hold on, there's more. We went our separate ways. Yeah, she was very, very clingy, and she wanted to map out the rest of our lives. So, hold on, they get better. Hold on. stop in Plymouth, North Carolina. Very good hospitality. I'm starting to get the southern draw. <laughs> like when you spend some time here, it's very nice. Everybody's very polite. Very polite. And uh, I wouldn't expect to see CNN down here. It's Fox News. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Anyways, we stopped for a nice little coffee and uh, we're almost there. Hey Nick, how you feeling? Nick was a little groggy. Yeah, he, needed he, a co he didn't realize he needed a coffee until I said stop, get a coffee, and then he stopped really quick and we're here so everybody's very polite did I say that and uh, that's it I'm actually not here there's no recording I'm not here I'm here <laughs> you never show me your <laughs> so, so, I'm gonna put so, you on tape now you're on camera man. So you're, it's like I'm never you're never filming me people are gonna think he just he just brought a tape recorder with him talking there's, there's no <laughs> companion there's no Nick <laughs> he's, just he's, he's just talking to <laughs> the tape recorder that's why I'm gonna put you more on camera right now okay yeah because people might think I'm a I schizo like, yeah yeah <laughs> I'm wondering, why is he always just filming himself? Right? I Am I not also on this road trip? You are. George? You are. Am I not? Well, you're the ghost guy. You're the guy that crawls on floors in the hallways. <laughs> See, I'm not here. You're the comic relief. <laughs> I'm not here. And, oh, did I forget to tell you? Uh, we got a nice discount with the car rental agency because we called them up and Expedia was not helping us, helping us out. Anyways, long story short, uh, we extended the trip, uh, the car rental, I mean, and uh, for practically next to nothing. You just call them up, get customer service, and say, hey, you made me wait four hours for a rental. This is impossible. What kind of service is this? And then they just uh, give you freebies. So we got some freebies, which is good. So yeah, we start yeah. off the day bad yesterday, waiting four hours for the car, yeah. and today we get the freebie. So it all balances out. Yeah, it life. worked out, eh? So stay zen. Believe. Yeah, I worked out. Just think it. That's the new slogan, right? Yeah. Nike has just do it. We're on a road trip, and we're rediscovering ourselves. So we're, uh, we just think it. So that's it. All right, power to the people. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Okay, we, we've arrived at the room, and a uh, little screw up, my screw up. But right now, we're walking here, and there's this cool dude with some cool motorcycles. Oh. Okay, okay, because most of them don't even have gas. Okay. In. How much air you got in the shock, speedometer, tachometer, how much battery, bolts, they need your whole Well, you pay 30 grand, it's good that it shows yeah, you have no fuel yeah, left. That's great. It that's awesome. Yeah, it's got it off. That, that's his way. Radio, uh, Mike. Hey Mike, how are you Mike? Nice to meet you man. That's his bike. That's your bike. That's gorgeous man. That's really nice. The screw up was that when I booked a room this morning coming here, 
I, uh, it wasn't a screw up. I had put today's date for and tomorrow's date and I went next and then I had screwed up the room size and I went back and what the site had done was reset the dates to October 20th, 21st. I didn't know, so I just changed the room, went back in. I come here, they're like, no, your reservation's for the 20th. I'm like, what? So another setback. On the phone, we finally got the refund and now we're looking for another room. So the adventures begin. Be happy if you could. Yeah, my, so, my brother loves country. Here with Mike, he's giving us restaurant tips. Okay, Mike, so you're telling me not to go to that guy? Yeah. Because what happened? Hey, that food wasn't no good at all. Nothing. It was <laughs> seafood? Yeah, it was a buffet. Seafood buffet. <laughs> buffet? I've never yeah. heard of a seafood buffet. And it cost you $50 a person for the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't good. I don't know. Okay, thanks for the tip, though. We're not going to go there. <laughs> Thank, thanks thanks for Mike. But don't there. Some good food right there. That guy there. Yeah. Uh, what's it, Sam and Omi's? Yeah. All right, we're going to go there. Probably breakfast, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they, they have they lunch quit, too and dinner. Yeah, they quit serving breakfast at 11 o'clock. Okay. You have to get lunch or something. We have to get up early. Yeah. Well, just, we'll go check yeah. out lunch. Yeah. We're not going to that $50 no. seafood buffet. You don't want to go to eat. <laughs> thanks for the tip, Mike. Hey, I won't never go back. You believe that? He saved us a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I won't never go back to it. So while we look for another room, uh, and, and Mike gave us some uh, advice on which restaurants to hit here, we're going to go to the pier, which is over there. Uh, my plan was to put on my flip-flops after the room, but the room kind of got screwed up, so uh, let's just go see the ocean. We're roomless right now. We're, we're roomless. roomless. We're homeless for two days, maybe. We're homeless in North Carolina. Okay, ocean's over there. I'm just taking off my shoes because oh, I do not want to deal with sandy shoes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I took off the shoes. Oh, the sand is beautiful. Light up my feet. This is a great feeling. Man, I just love the ocean and the sand. It's probably a little too wavy to swim, but it's just right to dip your feet in. I can't believe it. This is walking to the shore to dip our feet. Oh yeah. What's up, Nick? Yeah. You all right? The ocean I haven't seen in so many years. This is like mind blowing. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> fuck, it's nice. <laughs> oh, it's warm enough to swim. It's fucking great just to be away from the city and just. Oh, my God. oh man, this is great. Beautiful. Amazing. Well, that was great. That's really good. Now we're going to have to find a room. Ooh, so, it's hard to walk because I have my camera out to take some photos. I have this thing that I'm holding. I got my shoes tight. <laughs> It's not bad, actually. It's not bad. Dr. Scholl's powder. Little trick. Okay, we're at our second room, and uh, <laughs> it's the Tar Heel Motel. It's the Tar Heel Motel. In God we trust. We're in God's country. Okay, well, this room seems to have worked out. Everything was fine, no glitches, so it's a cute little motel style. I love motel, motel styles, because it reminds me of uh, when I was a kid traveling. It's got everything. It's got a... Oh, bathroom right over there. Oh, look at that. A oh, toaster oven. Got a little toaster oven, a microwave, and some coffee. Hey, this is luxury. To a minimalist, this is luxury. This is beautiful here. Yeah. Look at this table. Look at this quaint little table. That's fucking awesome. And these metal chairs. Love it. The best room so far. So I just want to show you something in the bathroom. Uh, you have OBX outer banks and the cutest thing is this thing honey this is the beach we're on a septic system so please don't flush baby wipes feminine hygiene products goldfish paper towels junk mail or your hopes and dreams bless your little heart hopes and dreams don't flush your hopes and dreams You know, Nick, I, I really had to go to the bathroom, but uh, yeah, 
Yeah, no dumping. Good thing I read that sign. Now we are walking to spend uh, the rest of the afternoon to relax on the beach and do nothing. It's going for a swim. Oh yeah. Big wave. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Stole the motel towel. This is great. It's out there, a little wavy, but uh, we both can't go in. We've got pretty much all our valuables there, so somebody's got to watch it. This is really nice. So it's quite a quite a feeling when you're one with the uh, with the earth. You know, you're barefoot on the sand. Uh, you know, you're in the water. It's just a different vibration that hits you. So, yeah. yeah. That's it. Like I said earlier, the, uh, there was an undertow in the ocean. Uh, and they have, uh, it's very dangerous. It can pull you in real deep. So here's a sign. So a little lesson. If the rip current's pulling you in, escape. Swim parallel to the shore. Don't fight the rip current. Don't come to the shore. Just swim parallel and you'll make it. If you know this, it just might save your life because that shit's powerful. It's pulled me in when I was in uh, Peru and it was uh, really hard to get back. A little panic set in, but that's where I learned to trick. So, safety first. Jeanette's Pier. And for your safety, no pets, bikes, firearms, or skateboards. On the pier, you have all these little fish with names. And these are the names of families that have donated for the pier. So you'll see uh, here, Alan Parker, the Moors. Uh, you have some others. Here we go, Mark Jones, 35 years of Outer Banks memories and making new ones. Um, for David Story, who loved to fish, love your girls. In memory of Leonard and Hazel Loman, love their children. So what a local told me is uh, people just donate, and when they donate a certain amount of money, I think there's a minimum threshold, they get a little fish on the boardwalk with a little message. So it's kind of a nice uh, little thing they do here. Very, very, very nice. People love this place, and they try to keep it um, well kept and well maintained because uh, people have a lot of memories. The locals told me they had to leave because things got too expensive around here raising uh, three kids in college and they couldn't afford their house anymore so they had to leave and it's sad because things are getting more expensive here in the Outer Banks but uh, I guess the fish can testify that people have good memories and Mr. Turtle Senor Tortuga he's a little shy he doesn't come out of his shell often boom boom This is great. Oh, this guy's fishing. Oh, the fish tradition is carried on here, so everybody's name is everywhere. Yeah. All right. Fly, pelican fly. Oh, look at these guys. Don't shit on me, dude. It's really interesting. This is really nice. I mean, you're out on the pier. All right, you want to tell us what all this gear is? Well, it's all... Basically. Okay, first of all, what's your name? Your name? Jay. Jay, nice to meet you, George. Nice to meet you. Okay, so... So, yeah, it's all basically bottom rig stuff and all that deal. Two okay. hook bottom rigs. All right. All right. Um, and you come here and you place them and you just leave them? Yeah, I've okay. got one set out there on a different type rig. It's oh, here, this guy here? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't have another rig like that. So how does it work? You have some sort of... Um, uh, Wait, this, this you'll see it... Sh oh, how do you see... Oh, how do you see you caught something on this you'll thing? See, oh, you'll see the... You'll see It'll the bend in? Rod go like that. It, it'll kind of bend down a little bit right. with the wave here in a second. But when a fish gets on there, it acts completely different. Okay. It's, it's not hard to tell, especially for decent sized fish. Yeah. So. And then what do you do? You come here real quick? Yep. <laughs> is, is it secured anywhere? or? Uh, I just got it propped up underneath here. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's sitting there where it... But you're, you're a pro. I mean, you've got the whole gear set up over here. I'm like, like, like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Trust me, I don't know what I'm doing either. I don't know what I'm doing. None of us know what we're doing. We just pretend we know what we're doing. 
I used to fish when I was a kid, so I forgot everything about it. <laughs> but I'm from Canada, so it's all always in a lake. Well, you know, and a river. I, so that's it, what it, that's what I'm used to too. But I, we come down here at least once, at least once a year. I just love fishing out here, hanging out. That's fantastic, man. And you're from yeah, around this place? Right? No, sir. I live, uh, I live a little southeast of Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, okay. All I right. live out in the country and all that deal, but that's about the only place anybody recognizes in Charlotte. Yeah, I know where that is. So. That's, yeah, I know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Nick wants a picture of us. Come, come. Oh, okay. There's Nick taking a picture. All right. Okay, so I'll take, hey. I'll take you taking the picture, and then we can put the picture on top of this video. <laughs> Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate sir. the lesson. Jay? Jay, right? Jay, yes, sir. Next All right, Jay. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. And uh, maybe we'll run into each, uh, right. each other again. I'll be We're here, here till Sunday, so. And we're at the edge of the pier. And we have everybody here fishing. Catch the big ones. That's pretty cool. Got something. Let's go see. We got something. The girl said maybe it's a stingray. Oh. Nothing yet. Oh, cut it. Okay, it was cut. That's <laughs> like. That's your bait. Today we're just getting a sandwich. Very simple sandwich. And end the day. We're going to Cahoon's Market. Or Cahoon's Market. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> Man, I love their signs. <laughs> what? Free ride in a police car if you shoplift. <laughs> True. All right, well, the deli closed at three, so we have pastrami turkey. That's okay. $5.99. That's kind of steep for a sandwich. This is $7.49. That's eight US dollars. That's about 11 Canadian dollars for this. Holy crap. Might as well just go to a Krispy Kreme. You want to go to the restaurant brother? I think more expensive places. I don't want to spend 11 bucks for a sandwich. Yeah. Well, we could, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not that hungry. I'm not going to. I'd rather get a, I'd rather, I'd rather get a Chick-fil-A again. I'd rather get a $10 meal. That's cool. Look, air fried, kettle cook, air fried, air fried. Well, that was it. That was it. It's a long day. Oh man, we walked far, eh? The hotel's yeah, down there, really right? far. Yeah, it's all right. Anyway, this concludes today, which has been a long day. And uh, tomorrow will be another big adventure where we go see the wild horses and Kitty Hawk, the home of the first flight, first airplane. So more details to come. And now, Good night. Okay, so I lied. We came out to eat. Uh, and we are at McGrath's uh, Burger Shack. We got McGrath seared on the bun, the fries. And this must be really good. We're gonna taste it. We're gonna taste it right now. We're gonna taste it right now. Mmm. Uh. Excellent. This is great. Compliments to the chef. Yeah. It's amazing. Man alive. It's great. Mm, this is really good. Good burger. They cut the fresh themselves. Yeah, and they cut the potatoes themselves every day. So that's it. Hopefully this is the end for the video. Unless we go for a snack, but no, we're done. Walked all day.